In this Wiser Joomla video, I'm going to talk about hosting options for your Joomla site. Uh, much of what we do here at Wiser Joomla has to do with how you build your Joomla site, but I think a lot of people fail to really take into account where you're going to build your Joomla site. And it really has to do with a lot of different factors and you kind of have to move through a decision tree to take a look at what kind of a company you are, what kind of a website you're building, where it is today and where it may be in six months or a year, and a lot of other factors like that. So what I've done is I've put together what I call the six S's for success when it comes to making the decision as to where to host your website. So the first S is system. And this means what kind of a platform are you going to build your website on? Your Joomla site requires has certain requirements basically and you want to make sure that your hosting company delivers those basic needs for a Joomla site and maybe even beyond. So typically, well not typically, but definitely where your Joomla site needs to live is on a LAMP system. LAMP is, is stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And you also have to take into account minimum requirements for the versions of those various system software packages. Um, typically Joomla is run on a PHP 5.x and MySQL 4.x or 5.x. Now it will run on, on the minimum requirements but something to keep in mind is that Joomla 1.6 is coming and it's going to be a little less forgiving. So I would definitely require from your host that they offer you PHP 5.x and MySQL 5.x or 1.6 won't run. And the other aspect of system has to do with hardware, uh, that, that the actual physical servers that your host provides you. You want to make sure that there's enough memory and disk space and all of those uh, factors as far as backup systems and RAID and all of those good things. So the system is very important. The next is scalability and this has to do with as I said, where your site is today or when you launch as opposed to where it may wind up. And there's this great syndrome that we all wish for called the, the uh, Larry King syndrome or the Oprah syndrome, wherein you might have a pretty successful site and it's getting a few thousand hits a day. Then you get on national TV and all of a sudden you've got a million hits overnight. So you want to make sure that the scalability options are there with your host. The next is speed. Now this ha does have to do quite a lot with how well you build your site, but you want quick load times and part of that equation is the type of uh, systems that you're running on and the, and the uh, spe speed of the processors, basically your computing power. The next is service and this is kind of a personal thing because some people have a lot of knowledge about uh, administrating a server and, and they can kind of do it themselves whereas a lot of people want to kind of have hand holding uh, levels of customer service and tech support and you'll notice that there's quite a difference quite a range in difference of customer service between different companies some companies you can call them on the phone they'll answer within five minutes and they'll uh, capably solve your problem for you others you can't even call them and you have to send them an email and it takes a little longer so you have to kind of take into account what kind of a company you are and if you have downtime if you can even afford to have downtime. So customer service is really an important factor as well. The next is software. A lot of people overlook this because when you build a Joomla site, as I said, it runs on a LAMP environment. It doesn't require much more than PHP and MySQL, but it does in certain circumstances require additional software. If you're on a shared hosting environment, you may, you, you're definitely not able to load other supporting software on your server. And so if you're going to run, for instance, any kind of video streaming, uh, you, you may need to f uh, install a media server like the Flash Media Server or Red 5. And if, if your host does not allow you to install your own software on your server, then you're going to have a problem and you're going to find yourself stuck. Also, some uh, some hosting companies will do the installations for you. And this can even go to something like PHP because if speed is important, uh, there are different flavors of PHP which will accelerate the performance of your site. So you want to have the ability to add software to your server environment. 
And then finally, there's security. Security has to do with not only the security of your visitors, like if you have an e-commerce site and you want to have SSL and good encryption, but also the security of your site overall. Because some business models, some industries are more prone to hack hackers and hack attacks as well as denial of service attack. And you want to really check with your host to make sure that they take the kinds of measures that are going to be equal to the level of security that you require as a company. So those are the six S's. And what I'll do is I'll take you through just a couple of quick examples here. Now these are nationally known companies that have been around for a long time. Uh, there was a time when hosting companies were a little questionable and you didn't know whether they were going to be there tomorrow and you know maybe you'd wake up and your website's gone because they've gone out of business. So you want to choose a company that's well established, well funded, and has the kind of reputation that is going to give you the kind of peace of mind that you need. Now here's a, an example. Bluehost is a very well-known company. They've been around forever. They're right in the middle of the country and they offer shared hosting and shared hosting only. Now a reason why you might want to choose this company is they're affordable. Now I don't really recommend that you that you consider price as a major factor in choosing a host hosting company, but you want to get the best deal you can. And the only reason you'd want to build a Joomla site on a shared hosting server that doesn't offer any other levels of hosting is if you know for certain that your Joomla site is going to be, let's say, just a blog in a local area, or maybe a Little League uh, website, or perhaps just a brochure site for a local company. So you know that your traffic's never going to go beyond a few thousand people a week, and you're perfectly happy to go forever on this kind of a platform. Bluehost has excellent customer service. You can build multiple websites on your shared uh, on your shared account and they offer you plenty of bandwidth and great customer service and they have a really good reputation for network uptime. In fact, they guarantee it and they also offer uh, great protection as far as security and they've got a lot of, they've got cPanel which is an excellent choice. Um, it's another factor that you really want to consider. What kind of a control panel uh, does your hosting company provide? cPanel is really considered industry-wide to be the best. Um, some of the other more proprietary or open source systems like Webmin or um, uh, some of these like GoDaddy's proprietary system maybe aren't as comfortable for you. And there's Plesk, uh, which is a little bit more complex. So you really want to make sure that you, know, you go with a company that offers cPanel in most cases. Now, another level of hosting would be another very well-known company. You've probably seen their ads. They're called HostGator. HostGator, again, they've been around forever. They've merged with a bigger company called The Planet. They're based out of Texas, which is a geographical consideration if you're a U.S. company. Texas is kind of in the middle of the country, so everyone who comes to your site from both coasts or in between, they're going to be equidistant to that center of the country. Um, now, they offer not only a shared hosting environment for about five bucks a month, but as you grow, they can bump you up to, for instance, a VPS hosting. It stands for Virtual Private Server. You have the ability to reboot your server. You can install software on it. And what's nice about them, and this is a great depiction here, is they can bump you from one level to the next as your site grows. So level one, you've got kind of a low computing power, but it might be enough for your site. And then as time goes on, they will elevate you to whichever level you want to go to. So if you look at level three, this is a pretty fast server for most Joomla sites. It's got a gigahertz of CP CPU. It's all got almost a gig of RAM and 500 gigabytes a month of bandwidth. But as you grow, they will move your site for you and they will charge you more per month. So if you go to level nine, you'll see you're paying about $1,200 a year, but look at what you're getting. You're getting a almost six gigahertz of CPU, almost four and a half gigs of RAM, and more bandwidth, 3150 per month than you can probably chew through. But if you do want to go beyond this, they can actually move you to a dedicated server, which would cost even more, but offer you even more computing power. So uh, the other thing, and you know, the other S as far as service, HostGator is a hands-on 24-7, 365 tech support uh, kind of service. They have, they offer phone support, live chat, email support, and so if your website goes down, 
they're going to help you get it up and that's why you pay a little bit more for a company like HostGator. And then finally I'll show you another company I like to work with called Aptost. Um, they've been around for quite a while as well. They're not as well known because they're kind of a specialty hosting company and their specialty is video. If you have any kind of video scripts running on your Joomla site like HWD Video Share or even Jom Social, which re requires FFmpeg uh, in order to convert the videos as they are uploaded, well, their shared hosting actually offers FFmpeg. It's very unique in the industry. They also offer cPanel hosting, which is nice. But like HostGator, they can elevate you to higher levels of hosting on up through their different flavors of VPS up to a dedicated server. And I know in our uh, case, we have had them install for us uh, the media server software called Red5 and they did it for us and it took them a few days they're not as quick uh, as far as the customer service as say a HostGator but they took care of it for us they did it without a fee and um, it was really kind of you know a perfect environment for a site like Wiser Joomla so those are the basics of hosting uh, in the next video I'm going to go on to the more sophisticated levels of corporate and industrial strength hosting